Hi everyone and welcome to Phil's Fun Fact Friday from Team Vincent Motorsports in Air Ontario. Today we're looking at the original Sea-Doo of the late 1960s. That's right, the late 1960s is when the Sea-Doo first appeared on the watercraft market. In 1968, the first mass-produced water jet powered personal watercraft was introduced as a Sea-Doo and with its launch a new industry was created. This is the follow-up version, the 1969 Sea-Doo. They look similar, but there are some major differences. They had the same driven purpose, and they met similar challenges. The project was headed by Bombardier's Laurent Baudouin, along with inventor Clayton Jacobson, who was actually wanting to build a stand-up water cycle. To showcase the original 1968 model, Baudouin and some of the staff members rode the new machines from Montreal to New York City, a distance of over 430 miles. The first 1968 model was designated a 320. It came with an air-cooled, two-cycle, 18-horsepower, single-cylinder Rotax snowmobile engine. It had a cruising speed of 25 miles an hour. The Sea-Doo launched on the North American market that year with a price tag of $995. That initial 320 model didn't prove to be that successful as the Sea-Doo couldn't produce enough airflow to cool the fan-cooled engine. The solution for 1969 was the introduction of the 372 model with a more efficient aluminum two-cycle water-cooled engine. The new engine cranked out 23 and a half horsepower and pushed the design further. That was a 30% increase in power, which was significant but tricky to comprehend when we now have 300 horsepower in some current Sea-Doo models. My how times have changed. A little side note about the engines in these original Sea-Doo's, it was the late 60's so everything was pre-mixed oil and gas two-stroke engines. So you had to mix your oil and gas in a gas can, then add it to the Sea-Doo. And the ratio back then, 20 to 1. This is the 1969 version, easily identified by the change venting that differs from its fan-cooled sibling. Another change is a lack of a decompression lever that allowed for easier starting on the fan-cooled engine. Speaking of starting, did you notice the manual start on this unit? That's right, it's an old school backup that was sure handy. On this 1969 model is something really helpful and really essential on today's sea -Doo's. You've probably spotted it, that's right, it has reverse. In 1969, they added a mechanical reverse. It was mechanical, but it was there. A push-pull dial on the dash activated a directional flow controller. That changed the direction of the jet's output. It was simple, but hey, it was reverse, it wasn't there before. These early Sea-Doo's seemed to be the perfect product, but they had challenges. The fan-cooled version did not have sufficient venting, and while the 69 had the updated liquid engine to overcome those challenges, ongoing hull separation was a reported issue. There were updates to reinforce some areas of the hull, but in the end, it was still limited in performance. The hull was short and wide and it would spin easily, but with no keel and no V-Hull, it lacked control and performance handling. The 1968 and 69 Sea-Doo's were ahead of their time in mechanical concept and marketing. Heck, they even had marine navigation lights on them. Cool, eh? Unfortunately, the design and available technology was a little premature. With so much success in the ski doo market, Bombardier decided to shelve the Sea-Doo line but the story would continue 20 years later. The Sea-Doo would be relaunched in 1988 and a new industry started. Ever since that relaunch, the Sea-Doo has become a global market success and in 2020 and 2021, dealers were sold out of new and used inventory. Finding an original 1968 or 69 Sea-Doo is tricky, but not impossible. They're out there, you just gotta look. And if you do find one, sometimes it needs restoration. Finding parts can be tricky, but if you get one of these put back together, they're really cool to see on the water. Thank you so much for watching our video series here at Team Vincent Motorsports. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, which has a full library of motorsports videos. Team Vincent Motorsports, Air Ontario.